Cheap multimeters don't always offer the capacitor measurement feature, but you can build a crude one very easily by yourself with the help of an Arduino board, few registers, an op-amp and an LCD display. So let's get started. Hi, in this video I will show how you can build a simple but useful capacitor measuring device using Arduino. All you need for this project an Arduino board, any of your choice, a few registers of different values, an LM358 open, a small BC547 NPN transistor, a 16x2 LCD display and a few jumper wires. From the basic transient analysis of capacitor charging in series RC network, we know that the capacitor charging time to reach a value from 0 to Vc is given by this equation. By rearranging the equation, we get the expression for capacitance as shown in this equation. Here Vs is 5 volt and Vc is 3.3 volt as applied by the Arduino itself. The idea is I will discharge the capacitor with the help of this Vc547 transistor and reset the timer 1 first. Then I will start counting timer 1 as the capacitor starts charging through the through a register R. An op will compare the capacitor voltage with 3.3 volt and will send an interrupt signal to Arduino when it reaches 3.3 volt. On receiving the interrupt, Arduino will take the timer 1 reading, calculate the time required to charge the capacitor from 0 to 3.3 volt with a 5 volt supply. To charge the capacitor, Arduino choose the register automatically between 1 kilo ohm, 100 kilo ohm and 1 mega ohm by trial and error method according to capacitor under test. So all the terms in the RHS of this equation is now known. With that being done, the only thing left is to calculate the capacitance and display on the LCD. I connected everything according to this schematic, uploaded the code into the Arduino board. Now it's ready to measure the capacitance. The links for the circuit diagram and code are given in the description. So let's see how our capacitor meter works. I am attaching this 0.1 microfarad or 100 nanofarad capacitor and it's showing 104.0 nanofarad which is acceptable of course. Now let's quickly test with a few other values 33 picofarad, 470 picofarad. 0 0.01 microfarad, 1 microfarad, 10 microfarad, It performed pretty decent in all the cases, so it was a success. That's it for today's video, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will come again with more interesting videos like this, till then, goodbye.